The sixth annual Taste of Yale Town invites all food and wine enthusiasts down to sample one of the prefix menus offered at over 20 different restaurants. Each restaurant has created an exclusive three course meal ranging from $25 to $45. Let's see what's on the menu for this year. Annette, can you tell me how the Taste of Yelltown started? Sure. Um, Taste of Yelltown came from two basic ideas. Our restaurateurs wanted a chance to compete each year as chefs. They wanted it to be a friendly competition, uh, but a let's take it up a notch kind of a competition. And then we decided to time it in October because it's fall harvest. The sockeye are running, the fresh fruits and vegetables are coming in, the apples are at their best for the year. So the chefs wanted to pick a time when everything is at its absolute peak. Can you tell me what's new this year? We've got a couple of new things. Um, our first big new thing is we've donated $10,000 worth of free taxi rides. And that's so that we can encourage people to come on down and try a dining experience. And a true dining experience has uh, food and beverage paired together. We've got some great BC wines. And it's a shame to have a meal but not have it paired with a wine that might set off that sockeye salmon just a little bit better. And we made it so you don't even have to worry about parking now walk here, bring a cab here, to take the Canada line, and we'll give you a free ride home. I also heard something about proceeds being donated to the Greater Vancouver Food Bank. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure. Since its inception six years ago, Taste of Yale Town, we raise money. Um, all of the restaurants donate a fairly large percentage of their sales uh, on one night next week towards the Greater Vancouver Fo Food Bank. And we've raised over $100,000 in the last six years. And then this year, to take it up a notch, the restaurants gave a donation just to kick things off. So we're already at $5,000 for the food bank. And then next week, we'll add in more proceeds. Uh, and our target should be around $23,000 for the food bank. Curtis and Ryan at Goldfish are busy preparing us one of their signature dishes. The food is primarily West Coast with uh, Asian influence. Um, we all, always use uh, local ingredients whenever possible. The menu is designed uh, for sharing. Can you talk about one of your signature items? Uh, one of our sign signature items, probably the uh, best seller here at Goldfish, is uh, the king crab tempura. So it's Alaskan king crab that's been tempered. Uh, we serve it with crushed avocado, uh, Fresno chili sauce, ground nori, and a little sweet soy. And uh, it, it definitely sells. We're getting off the beaten path to go sit on the patio at Bricks. What makes Bricks unique? Why should people come to this restaurant for their Taste of Yelltown experience other than this stunningly beautiful patio that we're sitting on? Well, even though we've been around for close to 12 years now, uh, we're still a little bit off the beaten track. So uh, for a lot of people, we're still sort of, sort of the hidden little neighborhood gem. Um, because we are up on Homer Street, we're not really in the heart of Yale Town. Um, so it's a nice opportunity for people, I think, to, to experience something they may have, might not have been ex experienced before. Um, and also, uh, the courtyard is beautiful out here. It's a very unique type of physical space. Um, I think a lot of people come in here and they, and they say, oh, this is just like something out of Montreal or something from Tuscany or, or Paris. But um, it's not something they see in Vancouver very often. So what is the chef preparing for me to try today? Well, we're going to do the flat iron steak that we talked about before. I think, uh, I think you'll like it and I think it'll go well with the red one. Okay, excellent. Oh, there it is. Oh, a little cappy de brie butter. We've got some uh, some local baby carrots on there, some uh, local fingerling potatoes, um, and there's a little demi glaze on there. So uh, it uh, it should uh, pair nicely with the beef. Let's go find out what hapa izakaya means. Hapa uh, literally means leaf in Japanese. Uh, hapa is a Hawaiian word for someone who's uh, of mixed uh, ancestry race. So my wife and I are both half Japanese. Thought it'd be a great name. To to call it. Izakaya is the style of restaurants. In Japan, izakayas are, are everywhere. They're meant to be fun, lots of energy, great top style small dishes. I, that's a big thing to get across. And can you tell me about one of the items on your Taste of Yelltown menu? Certainly. Uh, we've got uh, a great salad. It's a uh, abudi hotate salad. Abudi means to torch something, food. Hotate means scallop in Japanese. These are great, plump, local Colicum Bay scallops with some mixed organic greens. There's crispy taro chips on top, finished with a beautiful dressing of celery root and white truffle oil. And it's just delicious. It's really good. Sounds good. Thank you. 
bring your appetite and leave your car at home. The Taste of Yelltown takes place October 13th to 31st. For more information, you can visit tasteofyelltown.com. For City Lights on Novus TV, I'm Corinne Skalbeck.